ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Atty. Gabby Concepcion with a fresh new season of teaching, learning, and competition here on K-Check. Throughout this season, maraming contestants ang dadaan sa pagsubok ng kanilang brain power until only one is left standing. So samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil in the end, that new K-Check champion will be revealed. So apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Unang-una ay si Claudine. She's a student of UP Diliman. She studies statistics and her current hobbies include playing billiards, watching movies, and K-series. She loves listening to Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo. Janina is a talented student filmmaker rocking her four-year journey in broadcasting at PUP Santa Mesa. She's not just a film buff, she's a die-hard OPM and P-pop lover, proudly standing SB19 and Beanie. Fun fact, Janina is a karaoke maestro. Si Paul naman, mathematics student of UP Diliman and a member of the math club. Parang ako lang yan. His hobbies are playing instruments and playing games. He also likes listening to OPM and is a fan, of course, of Lola Amor. And last but not least, Juliana is a second-year dentistry student of Centro Escolar University. Besides her studies, she loves doing nail and lash extensions. When she's not busy with that, she enjoys skating on ice during her free time. And these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Siyempre, nandito po si Professor Iglesia Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Nandito din si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And of course, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology, UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, on to round one. Get ready to buzz in and go for that early lead. Each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. So, let's begin. This is round one, question number one. In the Philippines, what regular holiday is celebrated on May 1? Janina. Labor Day. Labor Day is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. In 2024, which girl group released the singles One Spark and I Got You? Wala bang fan dito ng twice? Oh. Question number three. In geometry, how many diagonals does a rectangle have? Claudine. Two. Two is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. Which three-time heavyweight boxing champion suffered from Parkinson's disease? And he did for over three decades, but lived to the ripe old age of 74. Mukhang si Manny Pacquiao na lang ang kilala nyo. But this is Muhammad Ali. Diba? Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. Ang mga experts na lang natin ang nakakakilala din sa kanila. Pero ang contestants, hindi na nila kilala. Question number five. In what region in the Philippines can you find Guimaras, Mambucal Resort, Capiz Province, and Boracay? The correct answer is Region 6 or Western Visayas. Question number 6. Which flower known as a symbol of love and beauty is made into tea that is hailed as treatment for skin diseases and inflammation? Claudine. Gumamela. Gumamela is incorrect. Janina. Roses. Roses is the correct answer. K-check. 
Question number seven. Which actor has received Academy Award nominations for his roles in the films? Half Nelson, La La Land, and Barbie. Correct answer is Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Ayan, sige. Alam daw nila yung correct answer. Question number eight. What type of animal is Sonic? Who is a big star in his own video game series? Oh, kilala ni Paul. Hedgehog. Po. Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedgehog is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number nine in mental math this time. What number is 23% of 200? Oh, math question yan. Yes, Paul? 46. 46 is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number 10. In March 2024, which Pacific country was struck by a magnitude 6.9 earthquake whose epicenter was 750 kilometers northwest of Port Moresby? Janina. Taiwan. Taiwan is incorrect. Paul. Japan. Japan is also incorrect. Juliana. China is also incorrect. Yes, Claudine. UAE. UAE. United. Oh, UAE is also incorrect. The correct answer is Papua New Guinea. Question number 11. April 2024 in South Australia, scientists uncovered 40,000-year-old fossils of what large jumping marsupial? Yes, Juliana? Uh, kangaroo. Kangaroo is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What everyday unit of measurement is roughly equal to 2.2 pounds? Yes, Claudine? Centimeter. Centimeter is wrong. Yes, Juliana? Kilogram. Kilogram is the correct answer. And that's it for round one. And after that first round, we have Janina, Paul, and Juliana all tied with 20 points each, followed by Claudine with 10 points. So, ito na po ang paborito namin sana ni Jules na portion where we try to find out more about our contestants. Para naman medyo mag-relax sila while we prepare for round two. But in the meantime, di ba, will I do this? Why not? It's now time for K Chica. In any case, Claudine, nagagamitan ba ng statistics ang pagbibilyar? Not sure po, pero more on geometry siya. More on geometry. So pinapanood mo naman si The Magician, di ba? Yeah. Si FN Batari, Opa. yes. Lahat so nagbababad ka ba talaga sa bilyaran? Minsan lang po, after exams. Pero saan ka natuto magbilyar? Sa phone po muna, and then medyo na curious po ako pa, nung pag, ma, pag, yun, pag normal ng bilyaran. So, sinong kasama mo magbilyar? Kapatid ko po. Safe answer. Good answer. Janina naman, paano mo mapuprove na karaoke maestro ka? At ano ba talaga ang karaoke maestro? Um, since bata po ako, um, nagbividyohan na ako, and um, nakaka dahil po ulit ulit ko po um, kinakanta yung mga paborito ko, natatandaan ko na po yung mga numbers po nila sa karaoke po. So is this a, like a job? Do you get no, paid no, to be a karaoke no. maestro? No, no. Hindi naman. So dapat hingan ka namin ng sample. What is your favorite karaoke song? Since um, bata po ako, favorite ah, po. Alam ko na siya. <laughs> Ay, is yung Yang Constantino po na Salamat. Ano nga That's 8626. <laughs> <laughs> Sige nga, mga dalawang linya naman dyan. Um, ang awiting ito'y para sa'yo. <laughs> you know? Very good. Diba, dapat ganyan ang mga, ganyan po ang mga contestants dito. Diba? Katulad ni Janina, magaling. Diba? So thank you very much, Claudine and Janina. And we'll talk to Paul and Juliana later. Pero pagandaan niyo muna ang round two dahil susunod na po yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check.
Welcome back everyone and as promised, tatapusin na po natin ang ating cake chica with our remaining contestants. So Paul, sabi mo ang hobby mo ay playing both instruments and games. Ano-ano nga bang instrument at games ang mga paborito mo? Um, I usually play with my guitar and yung games naman po, ang nilalaro ko po usually ay Mobile Legends and Call of Duty Mobile and dati po kasi, Mahilig po ako sa computer games which are Dota 2 and LoL pero dahil po sa pandemic, uh, mas nag-focus din po ako dun sa mobile games since pwede siyang laruin habang nakahiga. Siyempre, hindi ako masyadong makarelate sa mga ganyang problema pero parang nagigets ko naman kung anong ibig mong sabihin. Sabi siguro ni Paul, buti lang wala akong dalang gitara at baka pinatugtog ako ng gitara. But thank you very much, Paul. Si Juliana naman ang pinagkakaabalahan ay puro kailangan ng busisi, ngipin, kuko at pilik mata. <laughs> Bakit ka naman nagka-interest sa nail art and lash extensions? At anong oras ba bukas ang iyong shop? <laughs> diba? So paano mo naumpisa naman tong interest na to? Nag-start po akong mag-try, like magpagawa po sa salons. And nagustuhan ko po siya. Tapos... Naisip ko po, why not try it? So, yung mga friends ko po, ginawan ko sila ng pilik mata, ganyan. <laughs> Tapos, um, parang over time, nakita ko po na parang, uy, may potential. So, ayun, tinuloy ko po siya. Tapos ngayon, nasa nails naman po. So, do you do this? Do your friends pay you? Or is this a, is this a business It's more you? of a hobby po right now. Kasi busy rin po sa school. So, pakibigay na lang mamaya kung anong mga available time mo, ha? <laughs> so, maraming salamat sa mga contestants natin. And now, it's time for round two. Remember, contestants, when you get ready to buzz in, make sure you need to strategize, okay? Kasi sa round po na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So... Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. Revenge of the Sith is the sixth movie in what science fantasy film series? Revenge of the Sith is the sixth movie in the Star Wars series. Question number two. Italy's Benito Mussolini signed a famous Pact of Steel with which German leader in 1939? The correct answer is Adolf Hitler. Question number three. What do you call the swelling of the thyroid gland in the neck, which is caused by iodine deficiency? Oh. Goat. The answer is incorrect. Juliana. Hypothyroidism. Hyperthyroidism is incorrect as well. Sabi nung iba, hindi nila alam kung mas gugustuhin nila na magkaroon na lang ng goiter kesa gout. Goiter is the correct answer. Masakit yung gout, di ba? Question number four. Which Colombian singer recorded the single Punteria with Cardi B in 2024, some 14 years after releasing the hit song Waka Waka? Juliana. Shakira. Shakira is the correct answer. K-Chet. Papakanta ba natin kay Janina? Question number five. Reported to have earned more than 1 billion pesos in gate receipts, what movie starring Ding Dong Dantes and Marian Rivera is the highest? Claudine. Rewind. It is the highest grossing Philippine film in 2023. Rewind is the correct answer, Kate Chen. Question number six. Which ace fighter pilot is the author of the children's novels Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Matilda? Kuhan, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, ang dami na ngang edition, di ba? Anyway, the correct answer is Roald Dahl. Question number seven. 
What structure was shipped to the U.S. from France in 350 separate pieces and assembled in New York City, its final destination? Nako, pag magpunta kayo ng New York City, bisitahin ang Statue of Liberty. Question number eight, what is the name of the usually semi-circular device that high school students use to measure angles? Well, protractor. Protractor is the correct answer, Kachet. Question number nine, which Filipino-Australian model won the 2018 Miss Universe pageant, Juliana? Uh, Miss Catriona Gray. Catriona Gray is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. What do you call the large merchant ships, usually with three masts, that were used in Spain and between the Philippines and Mexico in the 18th century? These were the galleons or the galleon ships. Question number 11. What is the surname of the father of Jose Rizal? Mercado po, hindi Rizal. <laughs> but in any case, on to question number 12, the last question for this round. In sports, which English football team was named for a place where weapons are stored and was founded in, nine, in 1886, rather, by a group of cannon builders. The correct answer is Arsenal. And that's it for round two. And after the second round, we have Juliana with 15 points, followed by Claudine and Paul, who are tied with 30 points, and Janina with 20 points. So, up next, syempre ang pinakaiintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito po lamang sa K-Check. Welcome back. Before we proceed with the ultimate pagalingan round, let's have a points recap where Juliana is in the lead with 50 points, Claudine and Paul tied with 30 points each, and Janina with 20 points. So in the lead man, si Juliana, ngayon ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. So dito po sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So contestants, remember, for this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. So, dito din sa round na to, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. So, this is your last chance para humabol. So, good luck to everyone. Let's begin. Para umpisahan na ang ultimate pagalingan round, let's call on Prof. Glessy. Thank you. Magandang araw sa inyo. Ang tanong natin, sino itong matinik na direktor ng dulang kanluranin na nagsalin sa Filipino ng mga klasikong dula dahil naniniwala siyang marami ang matututunan ng Pilipino sa mga dula ng banyaga? Sino ang pambansang alagad ng sining na ito? Una, A. Rolando Inocencio. B. Rolando Ramos C. Rolando Tagaban D. Rolando Tino and E. Rolando Sihuko okay, Ang tamang sagot ay letter D si Rolando Tino Maraming salamat Prof. Glessy Prof. Neil naman Sa anong bansa nakaugat ang Holy Festival o ang Festival of Colors. A. India B. Indonesia C. Nepal D. Thailand E. Vietnam Juliana A. India Ito ay isang Hindu festival. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. 
India Kaycheck. Maraming salamat. For a while, akala ko baka sira ang mga buzzer ng contestant natin. Buti naman, hindi pala. Prof. Marla. Thank you. In science, the condition of having different colored eyes in one animal, often seen in domestic cats, is called what? A. Twin eyes B. Bivisual C. Bioptical D. Dichromia E. Heterochromia Juliana E. Heterochromia I like your confidence. So this happens when the effects of one gene prevents pigment granules from reaching one eye. And the correct answer is E. Heterochromia. K. Check. Ito talaga si Prof. Marla for a while. Sasabihin mong I like your confidence but your answer is wrong. <laughs> Buti na lang. Correct. Maraming salamat. Back to Prof. Glessy for the second round of questions. Okay. Hey, salamat. Okay. Anong tawag sa lalagyang ito ng mga kagamitan na nauso nung panahon ng dantaong labing siyam? Gawa sa nipa o dahon ng nyog at hugis parihabang nagsasakluban ang mga kahon. Letter A, tengkeleng. Letter B, tampipi. Letter C, tampopoy. Letter D, tililing. And letter E, tokong. Oh. B, tampipi. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, tampipi. K-check. Prof. Neil. This refers to the historical study of a place that may include but, but is not limited to a barangay, town, city, province, or a cluster of localities. A. City history B. Ethno history C. Local history D. Provincial history E. Regional History Juliana um, C, C, uh, sorry, A. City History Mali Anybody want to steal? Sayang nagbago ng sagot si Juliana Ang tamang sagot ay letter C Local History Prof. Marla. Okay. In the cell, which process involves the breakdown of glucose to produce ATP? A. Photosynthesis B. Glycolysis C. Krebs cycle D. Electron transport chain E. Calvin cycle Juliana. D. Glycolysis this process takes place in the cytosol of a cell. The correct answer is B, glycolysis. K-check. Gustong gusto na talaga ni Prof. Marlang iyong confidence, Juliana. Third round na tayo, no? Prof. Glessy. Okay. Abril ang buwan ng kapanganaka ng pambansang alagad ng sining na ito. At nakilala siyang mandudulang Pilipino dahil sa mga obra niya na tulad ng Ramahari, ang palabas ngayon at ang mga aklat na tulad ng Tagalog Poetry and Philippine Literature, A History and Anthology. Sino ang artista scholar na ito? Letter A, Bienvenido Noriega. Letter B, Bienvenido Lumbera. Letter C, Bienvenido Santos. Letter D, Bienvenido Tantoco. And letter E, none of the above. Claudine. B. Bienvenido Lumbera. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. Bienvenido Lumbera. Okay, check. Maraming salamat. Back to Prof. Neil. Sa anong region o region bahagi ang mga kabiserang panlaliwigan o provincial capitals ng Digos, Mati, Atago? A. Barm B. Caraga C. Davao D. Soxargen E. 
sa Buanga Peninsula. Juliana Davao. Bilib na bilib nga ako sa confidence ni Juliana. <laughs> Lahat sila ay malapit sa Davao City. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Davao Region, K-Check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Prof. Marla. Okay. Organisms that thrive in environments with conditions approaching or stretching the limits of what known life can adapt to, such as extreme temperature, pressure, or salinity, are called what? A. Sinophiles B. Heliophiles C. Pluviophiles D. Extremophiles E. Xanthophiles So, ito yung organisms na nabubuhay sa extreme environments. Therefore, they are called D. Extremophiles. So that's the end of the third round. But before we move on to the fourth round and last round for this Ultimate Pagalingan Challenge, we have Juliana in the lead with 155 points, with Claudine and Paul tied with 60 points each, and Janina with 20. So this is the last round. Malalaman na natin talaga kung sino ang ating magiging daily winner for today. Prof. Glessy. Okay. Sa pelikulang Waray-Waray, napunta sa Maynila ang tauhang ginagampana noon ni Nida Blanca gamit ang anong uri ng sasakyan. Letter A, kotse. Letter B, kabayo. Letter C, barko. Letter D, bisikleta. And letter E, kareta. Juliana A. Kotche Mali Sorry Juliana B. Bisikleta Naku, mali din Sorry Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, barko Kasi galing siya sa late Para sa generation natin, si Nida Blanca ay iconic. No? Hindi ko lang alam kung kilala niyo pa ba si Nida Blanca? O hindi na. Mga hindi na kasi nakapanood ng John and Marcia. Prof. Neil. Okay, natatandaan ko yung John and Marcia. Dapat sa lang, RPN Prof. Neil. Name, yeah. um, so, huling tanong mula sa akin. What is the study of documents? A. Diplomatics. B. Numismatics C. Paleography D. Prosopography E. Sigilography The Confident Juliana C. Paleography Mali Yes, Claudine A. Diplomatics Yeah, ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Diplomatics, K-Check. And for the last question, for this ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Marla. Okay. What is the primary evidence for the Big Bang Theory? A. The existence of black holes in the universe. B. The discovery of gravitational waves. C. The observed redshift of distant galaxies. D. The presence of dark matter in galaxy clusters. E. The formation of planetary systems around stars. Claudine. D. The presence of dark matter in galaxy clusters. Mali. Paul. Um, C. The observed red shift of distant galaxies. Correct answer is C. The observed red shift of distant galaxies. K. Check. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Kahit na nag-attempt talaga ang iba nating contestants na humabol, we must nevertheless congratulate 
Juliana, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 125 points. We'll see confident Juliana again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Siyempre, maraming salamat to Adine, Janina, and Paul for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion, so please join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check. Yeah.